Hey guys, Denzel here and I'm back and I have a cool tip on how you can improve your screen sharing. Let's get right into the problem. Everyone has upgraded their monitors in the last year. Seems like everyone's gone ultra wide. And what happens is when those presenters share their desktop, we see a lot of black space at the top and the bottom, making it hard now to even read what they're sharing. Let me just show you what I see here. I see a lot of space right there and a lot of space right there. And that doesn't make it better for me to view that ultra wide screen. And you can see that monitor resolution back there. It's pretty high. So what can you do as a participant viewing this? You can hit the control key and use your mouse to scroll up and down. And this will let you zoom into that content. Once you've done that, you can actually drag, click and drag and move this window around so you could see the contents on your screen. And I've got a tip here. If you're a presenter and you're putting people through this, I'm going to show you how you can make it easier for them uh, so that they could see this properly. So without further ado, I'm going to push a quick button on my stream deck. This could be a shortcut on your desktop and you will see this thing correct itself. So I've already been sharing my screen and while I'm screen sharing, I have re uh, I've redone the resolution of the desktop. So now it's at 1920 by 1080 and this is now visible edge to edge. So if I minimize everything, you'll see the resolution has finally dropped. So how did I do that? How did I switch my resolution while I was already screen sharing? In my previous video, I, I talked about sharing a window, uh, using fancy zones, creating a zone and sharing a window. Sometimes you just need to share the entire display. So in this case, I can switch it back and forth and I'm going to switch it back now again to the ultra wide. Let's see how it looks. Awesome there. So we're back to ultra wide. When I'm switching, my displays goes on and they come back on, on and off or, or again. I'm going to switch it one more time back so you'll see what this looks like again. Perfect. So we're back. So how am I doing this? What is the program? What's the workaround? So let me see if I can bring this up here. I've got uh, a website here for you guys to check out. Display Changer. So this website, Display Changer, allows you to create a configuration. So you set up your monitors how you want, and you run this command that will create a configuration of your current display. So this could be in ultra wide mode, all the resolutions, everything you want. Then what you could do is you create a second configuration that has the resolution lower on your ultra wide monitor. And that's what I have done here on my side. I have created one for ultra wide screen and one for default. So the moment I'm screen sharing my ultra wide monitor, I will switch that resolution and that will bring things down. And that's how I'm able to do that in here. So hopefully you like this tip, you try out this software. It's, uh, it's free from what I can see right now. Uh, it takes just a second to create. The first thing you do is you create uh, the configuration file and then anytime you want to use it you click apply in your case you would create two configuration files right you'll create one as you need one for screen sharing and you can apply the screen sharing while you're screen sharing and inside Microsoft Teams so let me just bring that back to the original resolution so you can see what that looked like okay so there we go that that was the same monitor that I was sharing throughout this entire video. So as you can see, the screen share has drastically reduced the size. It's tough to read, but if I change the resolution, I'm able to do that again. That's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed this tip. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link here, here for the previous version of screen sharing. So you can try that also with fancy zones in case you are doing a lot of window based sharing. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment if this helps you out.